briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing legal ethics case that unfolded in 1992, lawyer Dennis M. Breen III found himself under scrutiny by the Arizona Supreme Court. Accused of exploiting his relationship with his clients for his own financial gain, Breen's alleged subterfuge underscored the necessity for honesty and transparency within the attorney-client relationship. From 1979 to 1982, Breen represented a couple who subsequently sued him for malpractice and won. This case raised serious questions about Breen's professional conduct, leading the State Bar of Arizona to file a formal complaint against him. Breen was accused of failing to disclose conflicting interests with his clients, making imprudent business decisions that put his clients at risk, and insufficient transparency about business transactions. After an initial hearing, the committee found that Breen, admitted to the Arizona Bar in 1978 with a prior law practice in New York, had repeatedly involved himself in activities that brazenly created conflicts of interest. Consequently, they recommended a two-year suspension contingent on strict conditions for reinstatement. Unwilling to accept the committee's indictment, Breen appealed to the Disciplinary Commission. However, the commission, acting as an independent adjudicator, affirmed the committee's findings. The Arizona Supreme Court, having exhaustively reviewed the proceedings, concurred with the committee and the commission's views. The court reaffirmed that Breen had indeed violated multiple disciplinary rules. As a result of his misconduct, the court handed down a two-year suspension upon Breen and imposed additional disciplinary measures. Besides serving his ban, Breen was mandated to pass an ethics exam, complete a course of continuing legal education in ethics or study ethics at an accredited law school, and repay the Arizona State Bar $2,833.13 in instigative costs. This ruling served not just as a stern admonishment for Breen's unprofessional conduct, but also as a standing reminder for legal practitioners. It highlighted the necessity of maintaining the utmost integrity within the legal profession to protect public interest and faith in the system. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.